Hello, this is Kedulitics and welcome to today's session. If you watch our previous video on ANOVA, one-way ANOVA, two-way ANOVA, three-factorial ANOVA, you will come to see that one of the key assumptions we mentioned for running the ANOVA is the fact that the dependent variable should be normally distributed. That is to say, it passes the test of normality. But what happens if your dependent variable does not pass the test of normality? What will you do? To get answer to that question, you want to watch this video right to the very end. So in this video, we are going to see how we can run ANOVA when we realize our dependent variable is not normally distributed. Hence, we have to fall on the non-parametric version of ANOVA, which we call Kruskal Wallis test. So we are going to use the Stata platform for today to know how we can do that test, Kruskal Wallis test. So first of all, we are going to check if our dependent variable is normally distributed. So we are going to take DPP, which is diastolic blood pressure, to see. Now, when you look at the statistical significance or the p-value here you realize that it is statistically significant telling you that this data set has not passed normality so we reject the null hypothesis that our data set is not different from a normally distributed data so this data for example on svp is not normally distributed hence if we want to see the distribution of the median across a categorical variable that has more than two categories, then we have to fall on the non-parametric version, which is Kruskawalis test. So to run the Kruskawalis test in this regard, we will type K Wallis, and then we input our dependent variable, in this case, diastolic blood pressure, which is BP. Then we bring comma and buy. And that will be the category in which we want to see our main variable. So we are going to select marital status and then we put bracket close and we are done with the code and we run. <coughs> and here the p-value here tells us this is not statistically significant. So across the various categories, ma single, married, widow, divorce, there is no difference in the median diastolic blood pressure of this sample of patient sample we have considered. So basically, this is how to run the Kruskal Wallis test using the Stata platform. You run the code Kruskal K Wallis, then the dependent variable comes comma by into brackets marital status or the categorical variable you want to run the um, Kruskal Wallis test on. Now you see here, it says Kruskal Wallis equality of proportion rank test. So this is ranking. So it deals with the median and not the mean. So I hope you find your answer to that question. What do we do when we realize our dependent variable is not normally distributed and we are interested in comparing how it differs across a categorical variable that has more than two categories? The answer is to run Kuskawali's test. And Kuskawali's test is the non-parametric version of the ANOVA. If you enjoy content such as this, we encourage you to subscribe to the channel, turn on the post notification bell so you are always notified whenever a new video is released. And if you are a returning subscriber, we encourage you to continue to come to learn from Catalytic channel. Don't forget to like and share. Until we meet again on our next one, this is Catalytics and it's a bye.